Hi guys, this is Martin from Cyber51 again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to capture a WPA, WPA2 handshake and we'll talk you through how you would crack that in a later video. So basically um, you probably have seen our web encryption cracking and you say, well, web encryption, who uses that? Well, actually there's a lot of people using that still. Uh, so I'm using WPA, WPA2 pre-share key, so I must be good, right? Uh, wrong. And reason for that I'm going to show you now. So you be launch Wi-Fi, our Wi-Fi tool once again. And then we simply say which is our antenna. So this is the external antenna here. So that's WLAN 1, okay, which we're going to use. So WLAN 1 number 3 and hit enter. It's putting it into monitoring mode and then it starts looking for wireless networks. Okay, so uh, here we go. We found a couple of wireless networks and well, first of all, good news. There are a lot of them which are encrypted. Okay, so all of them are encrypted and, and all of them are actually encrypted in WPA2. But that doesn't really stop us. So let's go for the first one here. Okay, let's just do a control C. One second. Control C. And then we pick the first access point, which is number one, in order to try to capture a handshake. Okay, here we go, number one, and we're capturing a handshake. So first of all, it's trying a WPS attack, but a WPS attack can take up to 13, 14 hours, and we don't really want to do this. We want to um, go via the, we want to go via the, um, uh, WPA handshake attack. So basically what we're going to do is we interrupt this one second. So we interrupt this with a control C once again and now it's listening for a handshake. So um, there are clients on there so that there, there should be a, a handshake shortly. Hopefully, ah here we go, we found a client. It's listening for the handshake and now it's sending a de-authentication and bang, here you go. So, um, see, in, it saved now the handshake into a capture file. Uh, it's called saved as and then handshake SSID name and dot cap. And basically what we would need to do now, and I can't do this here off the tablet, is simply run that handshake against the dictionary. So uh, you use aircrack and G for that, for example and you run it against a, a, a large dictionary file, which is probably um, 30, 40, 50 gig long. And if the handshake or the, the, the WPA password really is found in that dictionary, then you have a match and subsequently you get your clear text password. Now, uh, this is another call for using good passwords which are not being found in a dictionary, okay? Um, but in most cases, then it's, it's passwords like spouses' names and girlfriends' names, boyfriends' names, um, pets' names, and things like that. And that really, really uh, then helps the attacker to brute force that attack. There are numerous online websites out there as well, like if you, if you Google like WPA, WPA2 brute force uh, online, and then you simply upload that capture file and pay $10, $15, and then they do it for you because they have large rainbow tables and things like that. But this is another example why you should um, be very careful with your wireless infrastructure. Brought to you from Cyber51, have a good day.